Hello everyone, my name is Sad Milkman and welcome to another snapshot exploration video where we will be taking another look at the Deep Dark Experimental Snapshot which released last week. And as many of you know, this snapshot came with a lot of very cool features like the ancient cities and the warden. But today I want to take a closer look at the blocks added in this snapshot because there are a good few blocks here. As you can see, we have the skulk sensor, the skulk itself, the skulk veins, the skulk catalyst, the skulk shrieker, and reinforced deep slate. Uh, all of which have very unique textures that I think would be cool to build with. So that's what I've gone ahead and done. I've actually made a few little build ideas, mock-ups, whatever you want to call them here, that I will be going through and showing you. But before we get into that, if you enjoy today's video at any point, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And you'd be able to stay tuned for all future snapshot videos. But moving over to our first little build over here, you can see my attempt at making some blueberry bushes using the skulk vein on top of azalea leaves. And I think this turned out pretty well, albeit there is kind of a harsh edge there where the block ends that I don't like so much. But from a distance, it's hard to really tell. And honestly, it makes for a very cool little detail for your garden or for your farm, just to have these little blueberry bushes lined up. And over here next to it is kind of a bucket or barrel of blueberries. Uh, I made this just by putting the skulk vein on top of the skulk block and surrounding it in trapdoors. And I think this turned out very, very well. It does look like a bucket of blueberries, uh, again, especially from a distance. And yeah, this whole little blueberry farm setup is definitely something that I will be incorporating into my 1.19 builds. But moving on to the next couple builds over here, you can see both of these are actually end portal related. And that's because the skulk block, I've noticed, is surprisingly similar to the center of the end portal, which I think is pretty cool and provides a lot of little opportunities for storytelling uh, regarding the end portal here. So you can see with this first one here, we kind of have these skulk veins spreading out from the center, kind of like they're taking over the overworld or like they're spreading out of the end or something. And then with this portal over here, I wanted to try a bit more of a unique concept, uh, kind of an end well, where we have the skulk block in the middle here in a bucket uh, being hoisted up out of the portal. Uh, by that chain there and honestly I think this one works incredibly well uh, it's a cute little design again not too difficult to build and uh, yeah I can definitely see myself using this one in the future but moving on from the end portals over there you can see I've actually come up with a few little detail designs here for skulk shrooms or skulk flowers uh, I'm still not quite sure what to call them, but really it's just as simple as putting some of these blocks on top of an end rod, which then kind of makes it look like it has a stem and it's growing out of the ground. And this, I think, would go very nicely in kind of a dark forest build or some kind of magical cave or something. Uh, it's up to you how you use these. So with that, let's move on to the reinforced deep slate, which I've actually used to construct kind of this haunted mansion room here. I'm not quite sure what to call this, but it is looking very, very nice uh, using the reinforced deep slate as both a floor and ceiling design. Uh, as you can see, it goes very well with polished basalt in a checkerboard pattern. And another thing to note about the reinforced deep slate as well, is that the top and bottom textures are actually slightly different as you can see so this one doesn't have the little square uh, on the bottom but on the top you can see it is right there so you're able to actually have some different floors and ceilings uh, using the same exact block which is very very handy and now moving on to my favorite build of all the ones here uh, I've constructed a bit of a magical hut 
using the skulk blocks as a roof here and this just works so so well especially with the oxidized copper and the warped wood uh, all of these blocks just go together incredibly well and again, you can see I've used the skulk mushroom designs around the outside here, kind of like it's in a magical forest. Uh, and altogether, this build is just very, very satisfying to look at. <laughs> and finally, last but not least, we have this big thing over here, which is actually a bit of a planetarium. Uh, as you can see, the skulk block actually works very, very well as kind of a mock night sky slash star block which you can then use to kind of make these big night sky rooms uh, and i've used this one to build a little model of the earth and the moon which i think looks very cute and that right there my friends is just a few ideas on how to use all the new blocks from the snapshot and i hope you enjoyed them uh, maybe i'll do some more in the future so if you want to see that be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!